This Thursday, religious protesters stood in the free speech area outside the student union building, calling out students who passed by to change, threatening that hell would await them. They both wore t-shirts and held up signs that complemented their message. It's a very simple message. Turn to Jesus and be born again, or you will die and wake up in that place called hell. This caused a huge stir among students, many of whom argued their views with the two. The scene quickly turned into a large crowd standing around the men and shouting their disapproval. Police arrived on the scene to make sure nothing got out of hand. Uh, we approached. Uh, they just pretty much were just ragging on everybody. Um, they called a girl out. She had a little, some shorts on. They told her that she was a whore uh, for having two short shorts. Um, they also said if you're in a fraternity or sorority, you're going to hell. If you're drinking, you're going to hell. Catholics were automatically going to be sent to hell. Many students said they felt what was being said was wrong and expressed their annoyance of the situation to the DT. I feel like they want to sue us, like we're bad people. Because yeah, so. I people getting angry. I got angry. Everybody's still over there getting angry. They're talking about people's moms, every, families, religion, everything. They're, angry. they're basically trying to get a big protest on a fight. They ain't saving nobody. They're basically trying to fight people. One of the concerns of some of the students is that one of the men apparently had his five-year-old son holding a sign and adding to the protesters' cause. I think it's terribly sad that he's got his five-year-old son over there. I think that that's, regardless of what you believe and what your opinion is, I don't think it's right to come and to put a young, a young child in the midst of anything that you're, as a parent, are doing to, to provoke. Steve Persifield, a campus minister for Reform University Fellowship, said he felt like the group was expressing their message the wrong way. The free speech area is often used by secular organizations to express their views, but frequently there is religious debate as well. For the Daily Torridor, I'm Nick Nelson.